People are getting ready to go back to school. It's gonna be wild out there. You wanna make sure that you have a decent computer because a lot of things are done online these days. So we'll show you how to get an inexpensive copy of Windows and then we'll look at some of the cheapest options when it comes to PCs that are gonna do everything you need for schoolwork, but also let you play some games and stuff because in my opinion, uh, fun is important. Now, if your budget is relatively high, like around $1,000 or so, I would look at the Framework laptop. It's gonna be in a very modern laptop, but it's extremely upgradable. You can get it bare bones. So this could be a nice opportunity to sit down and you know talk about how things work under the hood and you can get memory or don't get memory if you already have some just sitting around, if you don't need an M.2, whatever. And then down here, take a look at the operating system, $139. That's why we're gonna be using the sponsor of the video, bobkeys.com. And they, right now they've got a back to school special going on. Let me just click on the, so you can get all these, but I have a, I have a coupon code for 30% off. So 30% off of any of these, let's just say you want to get the uh, Windows 10 Pro, which is what I would get. Uh, you can get home if you like, there's home. And also if you need office or anything like that, there's get two keys, you can get office 30% off this as well. But let's go ahead and grab a copy of Windows 10 Pro and we're gonna put it onto a USB so when you get your new laptop or your new desktop or whatever, because this'll this will get you the, the serial number. Then you'll need to go over to Microsoft's website to download the installer. It'll just go onto one of your USB keys and then you can install that on your computer. So go ahead and click on buy now. I've got to log in. So make, it, make an account. Once you click on buy now or once you add this to your cart, if you want to add other things to your cart, you can add multiple things to your cart. Come over here and use the coupon code TS30. And then when you apply that, it's gonna bring the price down from 1950 down to 1462. And that is a lot cheaper than getting Windows 10 Home or Pro for 199. So 199. And then over here in our cart, $14.62. It's the exact same product. Yeah, this is exactly how you should get your key. Now, if you wanna activate Windows, all you have to do is just click on user center. You click on my purchased orders. Just click on view keys and codes. Then in the middle of the page, you'll see your product key. Just highlight that. You're gonna to wanna to copy this, then press the start button on your computer and then type activate. You'll see activation settings. Just go ahead and click on that and change product key. Paste it here, then click next and you will be activated. Now the coupon code is gonna be valid from August 5th until September 1st. And then after that, you're gonna to need to use TS25. So if you're watching this, some sometime after September 2021, use TS25 and you'll still save 25%. Since we're going to install this on another computer, if you're getting another computer, you'll need to go and grab a copy of Windows and then the Bob's Key serial number will unlock it. So you just go over to the link that's in the description. It's Microsoft.com. It's called the uh, Media Creation Tool. That's what it's called. So go ahead and save that. It's a very small file. And then from here, we're gonna open that. All right, this is going to just kind of look at your own system and then make a recommendation, but you can ignore a lot of this. When we get to this screen, we're not gonna upgrade this PC. So we're making one of these. So just go ahead and get whatever you've got. This is like eight gigabytes, which is enough. So I'll put that into your computer. All right, I wanna make sure that this is the right drive, F drive. This is an old media creation, um, you know, USB stick that I made. So I'm just gonna overwrite this one, but make sure it's the F drive. I, I know it's the F drive. So now when I come in and click on create installation media and hit next, use the recommended, that's fine. Just, I'm gonna tell it Windows 10, okay, 64 bit. There we go, just make sure all that's like that. And I wanna do a USB flash drive. We're not using DVD. I mean, you could use DVD if you want to, if you have a DVD drive on your new stuff. It detected that F was my removable drive. Make sure you pick the right one because it's gonna overwrite the drive and you don't want your other stuff overwritten. So hit next. And now this will take a few minutes and you'll have your installation media. So now you have your USB key. Well, if you have a computer that doesn't have any OS on it, a lot of times you can just put the USB key into the computer and turn it on and Windows will start installing. Now, if you plug it in and that doesn't work or it starts booting into an older version of a different operating system or something, you're going to need to go into your BIOS. It's not scary, it's not difficult, but it's different on every computer. When you first turn on the computer, Start pressing delete and F2. You'll notice a little thing on the screen that says like press delete or F2 or some button like that. F, sometimes it's a different button, but usually delete or F2 um, to enter your setup or enter your BIOS. Once you're in there, there'll be some options for boot device and make sure you select your USB as your boot device. It's pretty simple. I don't think I need to walk you through it because it's really easy. So after you do that, you can just save it and um, you know it'll restart and it'll go straight into the Windows installation process. Whenever it asks for that serial number, just use the one that we got from Bob Keys, 
and you're gonna be completely set up. You won't have to do anything else once you're in Windows. It's as easy as that. Let's go ahead and look at some more laptops. Now, like I said, this is the top of the budget right here. The framework, it's really cool. And just the ability to upgrade things I think is really important. Uh, and that's why I, I still like to recommend the Lenovo T440P. You notice the price jumped down quite a bit. And you notice that also the, the model number on that Intel i7 has changed. So is this gonna be a much slower than the new stuff? And the answer is no, not really. The i7s are not that much slower because these older parts are higher power and they're not made. This is gonna be a beast. Like if you get this one on eBay, whoever gets this one is, is lucky, but you can find a lot of similar laptops. And I recommend the T440P just because it's so upgradable. And we even made a video and there's an entire like, you know, an, an entire process here that you can go through with all the links. If you wanted to upgrade any of the parts, you know, even your screen to a, to a higher resolution screen, you can do all of that. But with this one, you don't need to, it's good out of the box, but you're gonna need to install, you know, Windows on, on there when you, when you get it. So let's say uh, you got this 299, put Windows on it, you're good to go. This is gonna be great for pretty much anything and you can hook it up to an uh, you know, external monitor if you want it as well. So one of the things that I really like about the ThinkPad is if you just get this and you don't wanna mess around under the hood but you need a little bit more hard drive space, you have Windows installed on the 256 gigabyte SSD. Well, you can easily add a second SSD just by removing very easily with just like one screw on the bottom, you can remove the DVD tray Put an SSD in this little tray, and that'll slide right in where the DVD tray used to be. You know, minimally invasive surgery right here. And you can up your storage space very quickly and easily if you wanted to install some games or something on this. Super simple. Now you're wondering, like, if you're looking around on eBay for a lot of these computers, how do you figure out, you know, which processor is the one you should be getting? So let's break down this Intel numbering scheme. That's why is it not getting bigger? Get bigger. There we go. <laughs> it's huge. This is how the Intel um, numbers work. The i7s are like the big beefy line. The i5, I like the middle of the road, really good processors. And the i3s are going to be good for doing one or two tasks at a time, but not an extraordinary amount of stuff. Like not a lot of hugely, you know, not a lot of processing and stuff. They can do games pretty well though. And then the generation is, you know, right here. And then this Q number. Usually the higher this number, the faster it is in its given generation. And I usually don't like to go too far back, but note that most CPUs from Intel have been improved like five or 6% generation by generation. And then around generation six or seven, they slowed down a little bit and they started improving the power per watt. So if you get something that's a little older, it's not gonna be as efficient, but a lot of times it can still be pretty fast. Like generation four and generation seven a generation four on a laptop is very similar to like a generation seven as far as just overall speed goes, but a generation seven or eight is gonna be more power efficient. So that's the real difference here. So I would say anything from generation, even, even some stuff in generation two, if the frequency is high enough, it's gonna be okay. So that's what I would look for. Uh, I5s and I7s generally are also what I look for. And you know, having said all that, let's say if you wanted to get like a, a desktop for your house or something, I like just literally going over onto Craigslist, which kind of sounds ridiculous, and just seeing what's on there. A lot of offices have the, these Dell Optiplexes and stuff like this. This is a little Dell. They're very slim PCs. They're not extremely fast, but they are plenty fast enough to do anything you need to do with school, uh, unless you're doing like some graphic design or something. And then you can do like Photoshop and stuff, but I wouldn't go too crazy with like video editing or, or anything on one of these. So it's, it's a little older. But 3.1 gigahertz is pretty respectable. And eight gigabytes of RAM is the minimum I would recommend if you want to be able to do more than a few things at a time. If you see something with four gigs of RAM, skip it. If you see something with 16 gigs of RAM, that's gonna be even better. And one of the thing I like about this one the most is that it comes with everything you need. You know, like, it's gonna be different in your area when you start looking around at like Craigslist. But this one, you know, it's got two monitors and all kinds of stuff. So if you're not afraid to clear up Craigslist, look around on there, maybe you'll find something good. There's a lot of different deals. Uh, for these, but the, the you know, these computers like this, businesses, when they upgrade, they get rid of all their old ones and you can get them for pennies on the dollar. That's why I like these and it's what I use uh, when I'm doing all of my ordering for epicpants.com. Check it out, you know, we've got all kinds of fun things over there. When I'm doing my orders, I use one of these. It powers the sound system, it powers a few different things, it powers the printer and I'm able to do everything. I've never noticed any stuttering on it because I'm not pushing it too hard. 
and neither will you know you if you're doing mostly just like schoolwork and stuff so take a look on there you know just come over here and click on computers type in dell you're gonna get a bunch of laptops but uh take a look at the desktops like one of these well 710 that's even newer 50 bucks what's it got in there Okay, this is even better than the one I just recommended. That's a better i5 processor, a 3470, slightly faster. So, so that's what it's going to be if you're looking for like stuff on the cheap. If you want to go really, really cheap, this is a you know all these are going to be in the description. This is it's going to be kind of slow because there's only four gigabytes of RAM. It's only 50 bucks. You can install Windows on here and a few programs, but you can't do more than a couple of things at a time. But it's a computer. You know what I mean? Like sometimes if it's if it's between not having a computer and having a computer or having to wait for someone else to use the family computer, it's a computer you can go online, you can do a few things, you can send some emails. You can't do a lot with it because it only has four gigabytes of RAM. So you can install Windows on that and still be able to use all your Windows programs. Or if you uh, want, you can try Linux on it. It'll be a little faster. So that's that's your option. 50 bucks. It's this is like the bottom of what I would get, and I would only do this if there's no other options. So let's say you'd rather purchase something from uh, a regular retail store instead of going to Craigslist or to eBay. Well, let's talk about that. I haven't talked about Tiger Direct in a long time, but believe it or not, Tiger Direct has some pretty good deals on these because they buy them in bulk from a lot of the businesses I was just talking about. And that's kind of the like their, their, their business model right now is they get a lot of this stuff that is maybe even going to be like donated or whatever they get it for cheap they make sure it's up and running and then they put it back online for sale uh, so this one here we can see it's very similar to the one we just saw over on craigslist here you know of course this is a better deal but I'm, this is an option if you're not going to go with craigslist that's an option but when you just come over here you can click on their desktops and just scroll through and see what they've got of course the bigger desktops are usually going to have a little more room for expansion if you wanted to put a graphics card or, or something like here in a few years and just be able to play a few games that, that's something you can do you can also find some similar deals um, over on Newegg like for instance this one here it's a fourth gen 4950 it's gonna be decently fast maybe slightly faster than some of the Dell Optiplexes I was just showing you on Craigslist um, 8 gigs of memory and one terabyte hard drive not an SSD but the thing I like about this computer is having a bigger case like that plus it's got the DVD drive if you want to like share some old games you know you got a lot of DOS games right you want to share them with the kids and be like this is you know how like when you have like a kid and you're talking and then they're listening to rock and roll you're like let me show you led zeppelin well now i can show you monkey island and dune 2 not doom 2 you can show them doom 2 if you wanted to but you know you can show them like this is where the first rts game that later became all these other games and you can show them like oh these are the first adventure games and these are the first whatever if you wanted to do that and have a little education you've got a dvd drive here so that's a nice little addition we've looked at this and hopefully i've convinced you that it's a good idea to have um, a pc for each person and I, I know it sounds excessive but the world we live in you you gotta have computer skills and you've got to understand how to use computers and that's how that's also another thing it's how people communicate and stay in contact with one another um, and cutting someone off from that is a, is a good way to sentence them to isolation. So I really recommend having a computer, especially so that you can do their, their work. And also having something that's not too crazy powerful means they can't spend too much time playing all the games, unless they're playing old games. All right, let's talk about some fun. So this is the Senpai. It's, um, I've been using this a lot lately, mainly because a new OS came out for this. So you get this, it's just a little ARM-based computer that you can install like Linux on but let me show you what I've been installing on this lately a new OS well not a new one a new version of an OS called Batacera it's uh, an emulation console you put this OS on there then you can load it up with with games and stuff you can play so many games it's ridiculous and Batacera makes it way easier than any of the other things you can't do as much as some of the other ones but you can do a lot especially if you want to log into SSH you can do pretty much anything but I'm just just in the interface and I kind of like the fact that it's locked down you can even put it into like a kid mode or a kiosk mode so people can't go in and mess with the options and you can make it so that only player one's controller controls the interface so I like a lot of those options they they, they have built in it makes it very easy and then you grab something like this this <laughs> goofy little projector um, I believe it'll do about 480p on, on the output um, so it's not like crazy high res it'll take a 1080p signal which is exactly what you need when you plug up the HDMI to whatever, um, 
you can even take this with your laptop, like with the, you know, that laptop I was talking about earlier, one of these, or, or, or one of these. You bring this and you just hook it straight into this and then you're playing games on the wall. And I think fun is so overlooked and important. It's such an important part of developing uh, just as you grow up. And I think abstract thought is something else that's really important. And a lot of the whole rote memorization thing is not preparing people for the real world. We need the capacity for abstract thought. And I think um, since the schooling has changed the way they do things, I think there's something we can do to supplement that development. And that is, let me just uh, get to it. Uh, I'll, I'll put these in there. If you need headphones, these are good for cheap. Play D&D. And the modern versions are very mechanical. If you want to play 5th Ed, that's fine. Uh, but I usually find that some of the older stuff, I, and I've played 5th Ed extensively, so I, I'm qualified. I'm not a, just a grog or whatever. I can speak about that in the older games. I think something that's pretty new, but has a lot of the old school flavor, is Castles and Crusades. It's compatible with the older D&D stuff. So that's cool. You just get your dice and you collaboratively, collaboratively tell some stories. So I would highly recommend checking out Castles and Crusades. And you can grab it for free right now, which is pretty awesome. Over at Troll Lord Games, you get the PDF for free, print it out, and maybe get together and put it into a book, make it into a little thing. If you need like the full on uh, heart, oh, the hard cover is only eleven ninety nine. It was like eighty bucks the other day. So yeah, grab a used hard cover for eleven ninety nine. I would recommend probably grabbing one of those, and then you can you know completely develop that capacity for abstract thought, really abstract thought. If you want something that's even like more simple than this, oh, and one of the reasons I recommend some of the older stuff is like it's it's designed for streamlined play, which means fewer rules that get in the way. And I know some of the new rules don't get in the way, but if you Focus on memorizing the rules. I feel like that's the same thing as you're doing in school, just memorizing and being like, oh, I'm in this situation. I know that this, 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 and this rule, and just spit it out and go through it. Whereas the older versions, they force player ingenuity a little bit more. So that's why I would recommend starting one of those. And if you want something that really, really forces ingenuity, go with Micro Light because it's super stripped down. You can have the entire rules on only a few pages. And so the rest of it has to be stuff you come up with and there has to be negotiations around the table with how you're playing. You know, like you're in a situation and someone has to be like, can I even do this? And you have a negotiation be like, that's reasonable. So I think that's a super important skill to be developing. So there's that. And there's a whole collection of Micro Light 20 if you want to be in Cyberpunk universe. There's a little few pages uh, that'll give you that rule set. If you want to do fantasy or low fantasy or whatever, you can find it. So just grab the Micro Light 20. It's free and it'll really get your brain going. I would recommend that for the, for the fun, you know. Last thing I wanted to mention, over on epicpants.com, we do have stuff to, to go with all this. If you want to get like a cool mouse or something, you can grab them over here. You can use whatever controllers you like. You can even use one of these, you know, these work fine. It's good to have something with a home button because the home button is the hotkey for Batacera. You hold down the home button and then press other buttons to like this, this is like a uh, quick save, that's, or that's quick load, that's quick save if you're holding down the home button. That's another reason I like Batacera a lot, very easy. If you hold down home and press start, that turns off your game that you're currently playing, goes to a different game, so I think you'll like it quite a bit. One last thing I want to mention, and it's because it's not out yet, but it's on pre-order, but if you're someone in a house, like, like I've said before, and you have someone like the dad is watching TV all the time, so you can't use the TV, and you know, older brother, sister is on the computer, so you can't do that. Well, you, you, need, you need your own computer, but you also want to play some games. This will probably be really cool in the future for that exact situation, because this will also be your, your, your computer. And the other thing I like about this is it comes with Linux, which keeps the price nice and low. But if you wanted to put Windows on here, you can install Windows on here and it becomes your entire computer when they release the dock. You just come home, pop it in the dock, and then you know you've got your you've got your mouse and keyboard plugged up to the dock, and you've got a full-on computer experience at home. Just have the computer, uh, you know, your mouse, keyboard, and your monitor ready to go at home. And this will be pretty powerful compared to a lot of the other computers out there. And you'll be able to play most games at a decent frame rate at 720p. So when this comes out, I think it's going to be really good for that exact scenario. And then just come over to Bob Keys and get your Windows 10 key 30% off and you can put Windows on your Steam Deck. I think that's a pretty good way to go. Anyway, I hope I've given you some options. So let me know if uh, this video has been good for you, if you've decided like, hey, you know what? Some of these older computers are pretty cool. 
grab them, throw windows on there, have some fun, and let me know what you're going to get. Just put it down in the comments. And if you have another suggestion for other places that people can look for decent uh, computers that you can grab maybe without Windows, so you can just get the, the cheaper version. I like I like that because like Windows does cost money when it's included. So when it's not included, you save money and you can grab it over on Bob Keys. So it's a way to help you while also giving a nod to the sponsor. But I've also used Bob Keys for like seven or eight keys myself. So that's just how it is. Anyway, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the comments.